Don't forget to like and subscribe to the first video to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Tonight, we are reading from John chapter 10, beginning in verse 22. I have no idea. Oh, oh, that's a great question. You want me to type it out? Because yeah. I know how to spell the word. Uh, we're Before we, yeah. Get into it. Yeah, uh, uh, we're having an argument this evening. Uh, I say bananas are a berry, but Rowan claims that bananas are a fruit. So I think technically, scientifically, I'm right, although practically, probably, uh, what do you want, fruit and berry? You want me to do that? I think scientifically... <laughs> The option fruit or fruit. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> because I don't know how to spell berry. You don't? That is not right. <laughs> we, we, uh, yeah. Are bananas a fruit or berry? Yeah. So, anyways, um, let's dismiss that. Uh, okay. So yeah, are, are bananas a fruit or a berry? I say they're a berry. I think scientifically I'm right, although practically he's right in that we eat them like fruit. Anyways, um, it's not published. Anyways, okay, let's get into what we're actually here for. We are here not to discuss the taxonomy of bananas. We're here to discuss who Jesus is. And to do so, we're going to read from John chapter 10 and beginning in verse 22. If this is your first time joining us, John is about three quarters of the way through the Bible. If you are following along at home and you have one of these little New Testaments, you are about one third of the way through the Bible. And so, yeah, let's just get into it. Beginning in verse 22 of John chapter 10. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts walking Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you did not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe, because... You are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of the Father's hand, and I and the Father are one. Again, Jesus, again the Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We're not stoning you for any good works, they replied, but for blasphemy, because you are a mere man and claim to be God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I have said you are gods? If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scriptures cannot be set aside, what about the one the Father sets apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said, I am God's Son. Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and understand that the Father is is in me, and I am in the Father. Again they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. There he stayed, and many people came to him. They said, Though John never performed a sign, all that John said about this man was true. 
and in that place many believed in Jesus. What does blasphemy? 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 Yes, that word. That is um mean. That's saying something against God, something uh, something un untrue and very disrespectful to God. Ah. So, uh, um. Yeah. So basically, lying. Lying, yeah. That well, it's it's worse than lying because you. But yeah, it's showing disrespect for God. So, mm. um, any other questions? Anything? No. Anything stand out for you? Oh, yes. What's that? Our poll hasn't published yet. <laughs> uh, there you go. I, I already tried clicking. Okay, the poll. the poll may not work. We may have to try this. Another time. Did anything else stand out for you? I learned a new word. Okay. I think that's everything. Okay. How about when Jesus says, I and the Father are one? I mean, that, that makes it very clear that Jesus is one with God. That Jesus is God. I mean, here again, like every night we see John driving that home. That Jesus and the Father are one. So that that's very exciting. Anyways, um, yeah. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all you give us. We thank you that you and the Father and the Holy Spirit are one and distinct and, and one. And, and even though we can't fully wrap our minds around it, we praise you for it. We pray that we learn from your word and we follow it. We pray for opportunities to share your love and your joy with those around us. We love and praise you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay. So, um, today's Sunday. Normally we would have a Fellowship of Joy service. There isn't one. There's a video explaining why probably right before this video on whatever platform you're watching so yeah you're welcome to uh to check that out and we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8:30 for another moment of joy bye bye